I don't see the tattoos as an addition to me. They become part of you. You don't look at your arm and see all of the individual tattoos, you just see your arm. All of my pieces are just filled with so many memories and so many great stories to share. Like it's all here, it's all done, it's all written for me. This is an Ace of Spades. It's actually David Blaine's logo. And not because I'm a huge fan of David Blaine. I mean, don't get me wrong, David Blaine's awesome. But I just liked the spade. I think I almost passed out getting this one done on my wrist to the point where the, uh, the guy had to stop halfway and get me a juice box and give me a little break. And fast forward, actually, when I flew to New York to watch David Blaine's live stun, he spotted that tattoo. And that's how I actually met him for the first time. He gave me a backstage pass where I met all kinds of cool contacts that I still have today. And it wasn't soon long after that I got this tattoo here under his wings, Psalm 93 verse four. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. This one here that we just got done, this encompasses everything that tattoos are about. It is a snapshot of a certain time in your life. My little girl drew this. Pumped on that one. Pretty much everything that I have on me is a representation of someone, a moment that we had together, something about that person in my family or a very close friend. That is the little blue octopus that my little schnauzer used to carry around. Uh, his name was Rusty, but he was my childhood dog growing up. Love that little guy. Rounder actually is what you would call a card cheat. I got that rounder tattoo with another friend of mine who is a legitimate card cheat. It was the first time I'd ever tattooed the inside of a finger. It hurt so bad I debated stopping at round and just making it an inside joke because I didn't think I could do the E and the R. Also, one of my favorite movies is Rounders with Edward Norton and Matt Damon. You got YYZ here, it's the airport where I'm from. Two of hearts, it's my favorite card. Family, because family comes first. I was scared to do the Tiki Man because it's uh, it was in, you guys call it the ditch, right? Close to the ditch, yeah. Dude, I was terrified. My wife and I were in Maui on our honeymoon. There's all these people carving these beautiful pieces of art. We just gotten married, we had no money to buy anything. And this was a cool way to kind of own that tiki without trying to fit it in my carry-on. Oh, I also got it and then got on a plane like 10 minutes later and it bled a lot. We were talking about where to place the neck tattoo and I was thinking here, but Andrew was like, you might want to just, just squeeze it back a little bit. You call, you call it a jailhouse tattoo, right? <laughs> Oh, it's ballsy, it's bold. I feel like that's how I've always done things, like all or nothing. So I figured this was a great time to tell you about a tattoo that was actually my mom's idea, but it, it wasn't this one. This one is not my mom's idea. No, no. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, your mother's crying. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> I've got a big obsession with birds. My mom loves birds, and my grandpa used to ride motorcycles. I need a dope tattoo that encompasses all of those things. And her idea was, well, you should get a parrot riding a motorcycle. And it took five and a half hours in one sitting to get done. And I remember going to bed at the MGM Grand, and when I woke up, there was plasma all over the bed. So I left a large tip and wrote a note, not blood, so sorry. Well, that's there forever. Sick. Yeah, dude, it's, per it's in the perfect spot. You were right, good call. So good. Hyped. That one took a lot out of me. <laughs> Such a small little thing, but like, it was a lot. This here is a portrait of my wife. She's holding a camera, and note that the camera has a red strap. A tattoo artist by the name of Jimmy Litwak did this. We saved this whole arm for him, and you may have seen him from Ink Master. He's got a very distinct style. It's very new school, bright colors. Every time Jimmy comes to tattoo me, we usually go to Brazilian barbecue, and that's where they have that tasty grilled pineapple. So Jimmy lives in the States and it's hard to travel all the time. So I connected with the new tattoo artist, Andrew Wilson Art, and he does incredible black and white work. And over the past few years, he's able to do all my knuckles and all the stuff on my hands and fingers and have quickly become some of the most cherished pieces that I have when it comes to tattoos. I think he's gonna do a giant pirate ship on me somewhere because that would be sick. One of my favorite tattoos is actually on my wrist and it says, damn it, Janice. Janice is my wife's name, 
and I always find myself just saying, damn it, Janice, and it just became something that's funny, like, damn it, Janice, you put the toilet paper on backwards. It rolls off the front. This door's broken. Well, we have to get it fixed. <sighs> damn it, Janice. Something I said all the time, I just thought, that would be a great tattoo. Kind of the same thing as these two uh, tattoos I'm getting right here. See, I cut myself with two knives. Janice's idea was to actually tattoo the name of the knife. And I thought, damn it, Janice, that's funny. Now, my advice to give you if you were thinking about getting a tattoo, I always say the same thing to people. Pick a mark on your body somewhere. Let's say it's a freckle on your hand. Maybe it's a small birthmark on your arm somewhere. Look at that little freckle and think to yourself, like every day you get up, do you look at that and think, oh, it's still there. Chances are no, you don't even remember or you haven't seen it in a while or it's just, it's just part of your arm. That's how I see tattoos. I, I don't wake up necessarily and think there's the parrot again. Gee, I'm getting sick of that. I just wake up and see my arm. They've just become a part of me. They're a part of who I am. I wouldn't remove them because then I wouldn't feel like myself anymore because it's the most personal, deepest connection to something that you can have that you're going to put on your skin forever. I left Andrew's Instagram below. If you're local and you hang out in Toronto or the GTA and you wanna get some dope work done, be it that it's some cool finger tats or an actual custom piece that is ridiculous, hit up Andrew in the DMs, check out his work, show him some love. He's an incredibly talented artist. And Andrew, thanks for coming out and tattooing me in this video while all my friends had cameras in your face. <laughs> all right, bye.